What's up, everybody? I am here with some more Assassin's Creed 3. Last time, uh, we uh, successfully defended Concord from the Red Coats. So now we're here, gonna, about to do the next mission. We're about to head to Boston to find Pickhead. But over here, let's talk to him. Sam Adams. Samuel Adams. Still here, are you? I was just wondering what happens now. There's quite a lot to do. Commander Washington must determine when and where we'll strike next. And we need to get to work on our message. Message? We must contact the broadsheets at once. Ensure it's clear to everyone that it was the Loyalists who fired first in Lexington. But no one knows who fired first. Mm -hmm. Which is exactly why we must spread the news quickly. We'll determine public opinion. This seems dishonest. Perhaps, but so what? People must believe we acted in self-defense, else we've committed treason. But you have. Better to bow and scrape before a tyrant, then? Is that what you suggest? No, of course not. No one should be denied freedom. And yet, to change the truth, it seems a dangerous road to travel. Understand, Connor. This is a war fought not just on the battlefield, but within hearts and minds as well. There's nothing wrong with a bit of theater. Especially if it saves lives. Hmm. That's what still happens now. Uh, we... S well, not we. Uh, well, the government still st stretches the truth. And then the, uh, then the public believes it. Which, of course, still happens today. Now we gotta travel... So it's over there. Where's our horse? Need my horse. There you go. So now we gotta travel. So let's see, next mission. This is pretty far. Damn. Just where? Oh yeah, we gotta head towards Boston, right? So why don't we just? Well, so why I can't fast travel? That's weird. Attack the convoy. I don't want to attack. How? If there wasn't any freaking voice back here. Okay, they left. Attacking co convoys is another extra thing. If you attack them, you actually uh, get uh, items for them. You can get items from uh, the, those convoys. It's actually pretty interesting and cool too. Hold and state your business! Damn, he's like shooting everywhere. Confec looms. I'm looking for Israel Putnam. On whose orders? Samuel Adams. Follow me. A little bit salty. This is not Bunker Hill. Aye, it's Briggs. There's been some disagreement as to where we should encamp. Any news from Boston? The Tories aren't moving. And any time we try to press them, we lose a dozen men. I think Putnam and the others plan to assemble artillery on these hills. A good shelling might make the Red Coast rethink their strategy. And what of John Pitcairn? That bastard's the cagiest of the bunch. He's appeared time to time to taunt us or send regards by way of cannon fire. It's all right, though. He'll have what's coming to him soon enough. Yeah. 
damn, all those cannons are being fired. Putnam's just up ahead. You can't miss. I don't care much for your excuses, gentlemen. We should be building on Bunker Hill. Reeds is closer to the city, but it is also closer to their artillery. That ship continues its assault. We'll never flush him out. But if the ship was silent, oh, that poor guy might be forced to get off his arse and come forward. I shall fly this flag to signal my success. And I shall speak fondly of you at your funeral. Dick. Cross Charlestown without taking any damage. That's gonna be a little bit difficult. So now Boston is now being a bomb. Jesus. There's a bunch of civilians here and they don't even care. Uh oh. Oops, I gone the wrong way. the wrong way dive dive okay so now we gotta reach these boats here uh, there are two optional objectives yes remain undetected while on ships air assassinate the general that could be a little bit difficult now, I suggest going here first, take the left side, because you will get caught if you're not really, if you're not careful, if you want to complete the optional objectives. There's a way. Kill this guy. You wanna hide in here? difficult to actually assassinate the general, which was of course him. Jump. No, no, I can't climb up there.
since I failed the optional objective, there's no point in, in two sneaking or assassinating them. There we go. Nice, now we can loot these bodies now. Get some money off of them. No, do not climb up. Thank you. Okay, let's ignite. Stand back. Yeah. So now we gotta climb up. Now we gotta climb back up and replace the flags with the with the, pa the American flag, with the Patriot flag, whatever the flag. Now I. I believe you can only, yeah, you can only plant, you can only go to each uh, ship and just uh, switch the flag. It doesn't matter which ship you actually uh, go to. No, Connor, stop. Okay. Wait. See how the controls are a bit wonky? That's about Coat's flag. That's the Patriot's flag. That we switched, I believe, right? No, we switched to the end. To the Patriot's flag. And we dive! Sequence 7. Conflict moves. Yeah, we did it! And General Putnam, Putnam says we couldn't do it. Oh, we gotta get on the horse, right? Yeah, we gotta get on the horse. Follow the Patriot. Look at this city! been destroyed. <laughs> Let's see if General Putnam Congratulates us, or it, be, or it becomes a dick to Connor. They need better numbers, you say. Better weapons, better training. But I do not fear. And neither should you. For what they have in material, they lack in conviction and care. But not us. We have discipline. We have order. And most importantly, we have passion! We believe! So maintain vigilance, conserve your ammo, ensure a proper line of sight, and above all else, men, do not fire until you see the white of their eyes! Courageous speech. Well, I'll be damned. We did it. That was quite a speech. <laughs> Lies, all of it, I'm afraid. Still, such words are getting us this far. And what a Pitcairn. Pitcairn. I don't know why there's an R in there. Boston. 
As I said, he would. And set up camp on Molten Hill. There's no good way to get out of here. Not with that maelstrom growing down below. I suppose you could circle around a bit and wait for us to thin their ranks. There is no time. I will have the chance of direct approach. That's twice today you proposed the impossible. I see no other choice. Not because your man's a March Hare, son. I expect an apology on my return. Yeah, for being a dick. Cross the battlefield without taking any damage. And this is gonna be the difficult part. Now, the only way to know when to fire and to not fire is to you gotta take cover. And can we cross? Yeah. The only way to know when uh, it's safe to cross is when you will see the pellets in their guns flashing or like uh, uh, ricocheting off. Go, 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 go. Yeah, you will see right there. Only it. Uh, go, go, go. That's the only way you could actually know. Ouch. I took damage. It's when the pellets of the guns, of the guns, uh, shot and they and they ricochet off of the rocks. That's when you know it's safe to, uh, to cross. Ouch. Yeah, kind of took a lot of damage on that. So that's the only way you could know. Have to wait till Connor actually regains health here. You'd be dead if you actually. Look at all the all those men over there. Okay, go. Okay, go. Connor, you taking a lot. You took a lot of damage on that. Sorry. So now you want to actually climb the trees, so you won't get spotted by the scouts that are circling around through this area. Now, there is another uh, optional objective. So now we, ha now we have the chance to. Uh... Why am I going this way? Yeah, climb through here. Now we have a chance, of course, to actually kill Piquen. Or Picron, or whatever his name is. Yeah, assassinate, air assassinate without being detected. Best way to actually do it. Damn it! He spotted me. I wanted to air assassinate him. Okay, got him. I still got him undetected though. I wanted to air assassinate him. I didn't get to show it because one of the records spotted me. Why? Why did you do this? To protect Adams and Hancock and those they serve. You meant to kill them. To kill them? Are you mad? I wanted only to follow. There was so much to discuss. To explain. Do you put an end to that now? If you speak true. Then I will carry your last words to them. They must lay down their arms. They must stop this war. Why them and not the Redcoats? Do not think we ask the same question of the British. These things take time. They would have succeeded 
Had you let me play my part? Part of the puppeteer. Or better we hold the strings on another. No, the strings should be severed. All should be free. And we should live forever from castles in the sky. You wield your blade like a man, but your mouth like a child. And more will die now. Because of that. One Connor. How dare you speak up of me like that? Why don't you just go out there and just help this chap retreat? Don't ever do that again, you hear me? God damn it! General Putnam. You live. The same cannot be said for Pitcairn. Well done, I suppose. <laughs> but it matters little now. I'm ordering a full retreat. We have lost too many in exchange for too little. If the Tories want this hill so badly, let them have it. Boston is the true prize. We have a bigger problem. What do you mean? This can't be right. It says they plan to murder Washington. I love that part. <laughs> That's funny. Well, not the Kevin Washington part. But I like how they, uh. uh he says, Planet Kill Washington, and bam! That's it. Cutscene ends abruptly. And then now uh, the sequence ends. I guess that's their way of something My dramatic. Enemy is tenacious. When money failed them, they took to force. But I have slain Johnson and Pitcairn both, ending their plots. George Washington now rallies the colonists, and their march towards freedom begins in earnest. Little wonder, then, that the Templars now want him dead. They seek to reshape this land into something cold and ordered, something soulless. And he is an obstacle. I must save him, that his cause can flourish and my people remain safe. But the more I prod, the greater the chance I am discovered. The Templars believe their men lost the revolution. In their eyes, the assassins are gone and scattered, no longer a threat. But I fear they will soon discover the truth, and me along with them. I must be tread carefully. Sequence 8, Davenport Homestead, Sunday, September 12, 1776. How fares the hunt, Connor? There is progress, but I worry it is not enough. You must strike where you need it most. What if you pursue Charles Lee and your father? What then of Paul Revere and the soldiers at Lexington? Soldiers? There were no soldiers in those towns, only men and women who were forced to defend themselves. Is this not why you fight? To protect your people? Your struggle is the colonist's struggle. In helping one, you help the other. Encouraging words from one who thought mine a fool's errand. <laughs> Make no mistake. I still do. But I can't help but feel some pride in your success. And why should I give you any credit? Then don't. But uh, first, return the robe and the blade and, and the darts and... All of the years of training and knowledge I have bestowed upon you. Return these, and then your words may have some merit. Or you could just admit that you are wrong. Oh, child, please, you've killed two men. One more salesman than soldier. You're gonna have to try a lot harder than that to impress me. Is that so, old man? Or perhaps we should step outside. Uh, uh, I will gladly demonstrate how easily I could trounce. Connor, 
This is Benjamin Talmadge. His father was one of us. No need for secrecy. I think he has something he wants to say. Achilles tells me you've uncovered a plot to murder the Commander-in-Chief. Yes, but I have only false starts and dead ends to show for it. Not anymore, my friend. Thomas Hickey's your man, and I aim to help you catch him. How? I'll explain on the way. You and I are going to New York. Hmm. Interesting. New York Underground Fashion Funds. Stations found. Okay, but uh, I think that's going to be enough for me for now. So next time on Assassin's Creed 3, we're going to continue on towards Boston and find the other uh, Templar, Thomas Hickey. Until next time.